Sills, what is it? Hi. Okay, today I'm going to tell you all about kitchen utensils. Now, these are almost all of the utensils I use when cooking. And um, I think there's maybe, there's one missing, and that is a garlic press, um, which is something you use to crush garlic. And I don't have one right now because mine broke last week. So I have to buy a new one. Uh, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. That thing that you use to crush garlic is a garlic press. Okay, so aside from the garlic press, let's go through all of these things here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go from my left to my right, and I'll start here. This, this is a strainer, okay? This is a strainer, and this, now this is not something that you will find very common in North America, or in Europe maybe, uh, but in Japan, it's very common. It is a rice washer, um, so you put your rice in here. I don't know, maybe if you eat a lot of rice, maybe you can find these uh, in other countries. But uh, anyway, in Asia, or at least in Japan, I don't know about other countries because I never bought one in another Asian country. But anyway, in Japan, this is a rice washer. You put the rice in there and you, you stir the water and then there's holes in the bottom and here to pour the water out. So that's a rice washer. This is a colander. Okay. Now, what's the difference between a colander and a strainer? Basically, the size of the holes and what you use it for. So I use this mainly for pasta or for washing salad or lettuce and vegetables. Um, and for this, I might use it, the, the holes are a little smaller, and I would use this maybe for straining uh, sauces or juices, something like that. Um, another strainer, actually right here, this is a finer mesh. Okay, the mesh on this strainer is, sorry, the, the mesh on this strainer is even finer, and uh, I use this for tea. Basically, I put tea leaves. Uh, I don't use tea bags very much here. So tea leaves and then pour the water and that strains the tea. <clears throat> okay, next. This is a masher. Usually used for mashing potatoes, but you can mash anything with this, I suppose. If uh, I remember when I was a child, my mother made mashed carrots. I didn't like it very much, but she loved it. So, um, now here I'm going to introduce you, introduce three things to you. Um, these are all the same name. Okay, this is a spatula, this is a spatula, and this is a spatula. Now, this again, this might be more common in Japan because we use this for rice. Um, you can see there's little bumps on the surface and uh, this helps the rice to come off the spatula, not stick to it so easily. Although I find that the rice sticks to it anyway, so I don't know how useful that is. This is um, a spatula and so is this. Okay, now this is a rubber spatula and this is what we just call a spatula. Of course, they're both made of I don't know, this was plastic of some sort, and this of course has the rubber. Um, now one thing is that recently some people are calling this a flipper or a turner because you're turning eggs with it. This is used um, basically to, uh, to scrape the bowl out after you mix a cake or a cookie batter. And some people call this a, a, a bowl scraper. 
Um, but they're both spatulas, and you know which one by the context. If you're baking a cake, you'll need this one. If you're cooking eggs, you're going to need this one. So they're both spatulas, but recently some people call this one a turner and this one a, um, a scraper or a bowl scraper. And now recently they're made of silicone, um, so, so it's not a rubber spatula, maybe it's a silicone spatula. Uh, 